So the first thing I'm doing is prepping the eye area. You can apply the product with your fingers if you like and the warmth of your fingers is just going to help melt the product into the skin. Or you could use a synthetic brush to sweep the primer anywhere that you'll be applying shadow. Either method works and adding a primer is just going to make sure the shadows apply nice and evenly, that they blend smoothly and that they last all day long. You wanted to see another tutorial featuring the Makeup Revolution palette, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to show you how you can take your makeup from day to night. So for me personally, if I'm doing makeup, I do my base brows and then add a lick of mascara and a nude lipstick. Today, however, I'm taking it up a little notch, so I'm going to firstly add some definition to that crease. I'm taking a nice warm transition shade that's a few shades deeper than my skin tone, and I'm adding this into the crease. So the warmth in this shadow too is going to make blue eyes pop. So even though we're just focusing on adding one shadow to the eye area, it's going to have an impact with very little effort. So I'm just sweeping using circular motions back and forward um, to apply the shadow. This is in real time, I haven't picked up any more shadow on my brush, still working with that same amount and the less shadow I have on my brush, the higher I'm bringing it up in the crease and this is going to create a nice fade for us. So you want the shadow to fade out to nothing, the closer to the brow bone that you get. And I'm also going to pull the shadow outwards at an angle um, towards my brow and it's going to elongate the eyes. Now I'm adding a second layer of shadow, I'm just intensifying the colour as you can see. I'm tapping it down on that outer third to keep the majority of the lid area nice and light and bright. Next then I'm picking up that same shadow, this time on a small dense bullet shaped brush. And I'm tapping the shadow down along the lower lash line and it's framing the eye. So by patting down I'm getting the most out of my shadow intensity wise. So I'll only need to add one layer and it'll also reduce the risk of fallout. Now I'm taking this brown cold pencil and it's up to yourself, you could line the lash line with the pencil, you could smoke some brown shadow along the lash line, but I want a very slight amount of definition to the lashes because it is a daytime look, so I'm lining the upper waterline only. I place the pencil at the corner of my eye, close my eye and then I slide the pencil from outer to inner corner so that the waterline is coated in one quick sweep. As you can see now the lash line looks slightly more defined and I'm going to work on the lashes themselves. So I'm taking my eyelash curler, giving them a little squeeze and then I'm good to go. Next then I'm adding some mascara and I like to blink as I'm applying the mascara because this pushes the wand to the roots of the lashes and it just allows me to coat the lashes from root to tip. So I just do this until I'm happy with how the lashes look and I don't forget those lashes on the outer corner of my eye. I like to brush those outwards to give a bit of a lift to the eye. And with a light look like this, I always just add mascara to my top lashes and not the bottom, just because I prefer how it looks. Just personal preference. And now I'm using a little of my face highlighter to add a slight shimmer to around the tear duct of the eye. And that's it. So this, I think, is a really nice daytime look. It takes around five minutes to complete. And it looks like you've made an effort, but it hasn't taken much effort at all. <laughs> On to the evening look now, we're going to build on that, we've gotten the groundwork done by adding in the transition shade for the daytime, so I'm starting out by deepening the look by adding this warm brown shadow. Again, these warm tones are just going to be particularly lovely on blue eyes, um, I'm adding the brown in the same way that I applied the transition shade, the only difference is this time, I'm not blending up the shadow as high in the crease because I still want that transition shade peeking through, and I'm just using circular motions and windshield wiper motions to apply the brown, making sure to flick my brush outwards at an angle to give a nice lift to the eyes. And once again, once I've no shadow on my brush, I'm going in with one more light layer to build up the intensity. The first application gives me that nice gradient effect, but I'm lacking intensity. And that's why I add another layer, and then I've got the best of both worlds. Onto the lower lash line now, I've picked up some more of that brown, I'm tapping this now from outer to inner corner, and then I'm using little sweeping motions to blend the shadow in with the previous shade. A good way of amping up your makeup is to add shimmer. I think a little bit of sparkle does wonders, so I'm just adding this bronze shade to the bare part of my lid. I'm just tapping it down around two thirds of the way across and I'm adding one layer dry and then I'm spritzing my brush with some water and I'm adding another layer of the shadow wet and this will just really make those shimmery particles pop. You could use a setting spray to do this, but water works just as well. If you get some fallout, don't worry, the shadow will just be resting on the top of the skin, so I take a small brush and with a swift sweeping motion I brush it away. It's important not to apply pressure when you're doing this or you'll just smear the shadow into the skin. 
the last shadow that I'm going to apply is a black. I'm picking up some of this on a pencil brush. I'm starting by tapping this down on the outer third of the lash line. I'm applying it at an angle and bringing it into the crease. So I create a sideways V shape. So from lash line up to the crease at an angle and then into the crease, stopping two thirds of the way in. Then when I have that shape, I fade in from there. You always want your shadow darkest on that outer portion of the eye. Once I'm happy with how that looks, I'm going to focus on the lashes. So with the addition of the darker shades, as you can see, my lashes have kind of faded into the background. So what I'm going to do first is to line along that upper lash line with that black eyeshadow. I want a soft, smoky appearance to the eyes, but if you wanted more definition, you could use a black coal pencil, a liquid, a cake, or a gel liner. So what I do to the top, I do to the bottom as well. So I'm lining down along the lower lash line now too with that black, just pressing it into the roots of the lashes, taking it almost halfway across the lash line. And then I'm switching to a pencil brush and I'm just using this to fade out the edges of that black. Again, keep it in line with that nice, soft, smoky appearance. To add some drama, I'm adding lashes because at this point mine are pretty much non-existent. Style in that is completely up to you. I've picked these ones from Kiss because they flare out on the outer corner so it's just going to flatter the shape that I've blended my shadows into. It just keeps in line with that nice elongated look that we're going for. I've added that cold pencil now to the lower waterline and for the tear duct I'm reapplying the highlighter this time with a spritz of water so the shimmer is more intense. I'm reapplying the mascara now because I want to blend my own lashes in with the false ones and then I'm also adding it to the lower lashes too and then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. I hope you're all keeping safe and well and I'll chat to you soon.